Another tense night in Shelby Township as protesters stood outside township offices and marched. But tonight, police arrested at least two protesters. Jason Colthorpe is live in Shelby Township where there were also a lot, of, a lot more supporters tonight of police, Jason. There sure were. In recent weeks, Kimberly, we have been out here and seen a handful of counter protesters, uh, people who are pro police and or pro Trump. And tonight they came out in droves and equaled the number of protesters out here right behind me. And when they came face to face, things got heated. Shelby Township Police made it clear to protesters Wednesday they would not tolerate anyone in the street stopping traffic. That if you enter the roadway, it's a misdemeanor crime and you can be arrested. Protests again centered around Chief Bob Shalide's conduct. In addition to inflammatory social media posts, Local 4 confirmed he sent this email in June to the entire department asking them to read an article titled The Myth of Systemic Police Racism. We're going to keep coming until he's fired or resign and uh, until uh, they get rid of these racist people off the trustee board. Hey, 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 hey. As protesters started to march, two were almost immediately arrested for walking in the street. Protesters marched for a few miles without incident, but then returned to township offices. There ain't no damn such thing. I work hard for everything I got. To find 45 or so counter protesters holding their own rally. Our police are getting a bad rap. Um, they can see live footage of incidents that happen with our police and shootings. And when our police are have justified shootings, they still believe our police are wrong. Many shouting matches, but police were able to largely keep the peace. Uh, I should point out the man you saw being led away right there at the end. Uh, a young lady accused him of assault. Uh, police detained him, questioned him, took a report, and then released him. We're in Shelby Township, Jason Coulthard, Local 4. And, and Jason, so we still haven't heard from the chief himself on any of this? We have not. Uh, he did not respond to our request for either an interview or a comment for this story. However, uh, it should be pointed out that Reverend Rideout, who was kind of the leader of this protest, whom you saw in that story and was arrested last week, told me that Chief Shalad reached out to him tonight for a meeting mm -hmm. that is expected to happen in the next couple of days. We'll see what happens with all of that. Back to you. Well, you've been all on top of it, and I know you will keep us posted. Jason, we appreciate it.